Hi, I'm Hoist Grace, and today I'm going to show some simple Grace Jiu Jitsu techniques for law enforcement. I'm going to use Anthony, he's going to be helping me out over here. I'm going to be playing the suspect. Most aggression are going to happen from what we call arm length distance. So you approach me to either give me a ticket or doing an interview, and the suspect starts to get agitated. And the suspect, you have to know how to read body language. Suspect stands there straight facing you. Not much to worry about. But once he starts to get agitated and start to position his feet, if you know how to read body language, you already know which hand I'm gonna swing at you. So from an interview standpoint, person decides to swing a punch, step small step forward with this foot, and the hand comes down my bicep. Secure that first one. The second one is gonna come right away. So I also just go straight in to both arms. Person decides to swing, you step forward, block both arms, right? Even if the second one doesn't come. A palm strike with this hand to the face as a distraction, the second hand goes to secure your weapon. You wanna back away. Last thing you wanna do is to grapple, get in a fight with somebody and be rolling on the ground. You don't wanna grapple with me. Sorry. <laughs> but you wanna secure your weapon. That's your priority, not to lose your weapon. I already show intention by trying to swing at you. So when I swing, step forward, small step, block both arms, blocks, a palm strike, just not to knock me out, but just a distraction so he can create distance, so he can secure his weapon. So from my interview stands, suspects start to get agitated for whatever reason. So when I swing, it's a step, block, palm strike, secure weapon. My father developed techniques for all different situations and scenarios. For the next one, lay down, please, Anthony. You want to avoid going to the ground. But if the suspect tackles you and takes you to the ground, then you have to defend yourself on the ground. Again, I already show intention. I already tackle you. I was able to take you down. My next move, I'm going to try to beat you. I'm going to try to hit you. So as soon as I start to hit, same thing like standing up. You want to block the, my arms so you don't get hit, so you don't get beat up. Again, please. So I took you down. I got you down. I'm going to try to beat you. You control my arms. Keep me here so you don't get beat up. Now you have to be worried about your weapon. My intentions, I already show my intentions. So it's, I'm tackling you, I'm tackling you to the ground, I took you down. I'm on top of you, I'm trying to beat you up. So if I go for your weapon, I draw, you draw. Keep my hand there, do not let the weapon come out. It's stuck. Put your feet on the ground, please. This hand comes all the way over as you sit up. Reach over, hold your own wrist. Secure my arm, glue my elbow to your chest. As you lay back, start to slide your hip slowly that way. Hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder. Cross your legs again. Now you're gonna bring, keep my elbow on your chest and start to think about breaking the shoulder, not releasing the, the, the hand to the weapon. If I let go, good for you, but the idea is to break the shoulder. You should do your point right there. I already show the intention. I'm already tackled you, took you to the ground, and I'm trying to hit you. So I took you down, and I'm trying to hit you. You block first thing, like, just like we did standing up. You're gonna block the punch. That's the main thing, you don't wanna get hit. You're gonna avoid getting hit. Once you control, I'm gonna go for your weapon. As I go for the weapon, I draw, you draw. Keep the weapon in there. Do not let the weapon come out. Feet on the ground, sit up, hold your wrist. Control, keep my elbow glued to your chest, lay back and slide your hip. Hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder. And think about breaking the shoulder, not releasing the weight. This time, I'm going to apply a little bit of intensity now. <laughs> We're going to do a little bit of live, Anthony. So I'm going to hit you, defend yourself, and I'm going to take your gun. All right. Got it, good. <laughs> On this next technique is I'm going to reverse the whole thing. Now the officer is going to be on top and the suspect, I'm going to be playing just resisting arrest. So if I get taken down, the officer took me down. Last thing, I mean, I cannot try to exchange firepower with him. You got leverage. If I try to escalate and try to hit you, you're going to hit me. 
So I'm just gonna be resisting arrest. On the weapon side, both hands push my arm down. Put your elbow next to my shoulder. Once my arm is stuck over here, second hand goes under the elbow, hold your wrist. From here, you're gonna apply a pain compliance. I'm gonna make me submit. Or you're gonna, if I don't submit, you're gonna break my shoulder. But I will the pain so much that I will have to quit. Please stop, officer, stop, whatever. I'm gonna tap, or if I don't know how to tap, I'm just gonna be, stop, please. He's gonna put the leg up. His intention is not to break my shoulder, not to beat me up. His intention is to arrest me. So he'll put the leg up, bring my hand to the opposite side of my head, my wrist to the ground. Second hand comes under my head. Use the chest to pin my elbow, let go of your hand, please. The chest is stopping my arm from going back that way. So he's holding my wrist. Give the wrist one hand, give the wrist to the other. Second hand goes on my elbow. Stop right here for a second. I don't want to fight him right now because my arm is stuck and he got a free hand to escalate any time he wants to. So I can hit him. No, you can't because he's going to hit you right back with this free hand. My arm is stuck. I can't move back that way. Hand on my elbow, please. And start to use your chest to roll me over. Roll me over so you can put me in a position so you can start to go for the cuffing. Find my hand, make sure I don't have anything on my hand. Bring it behind my back. Now find the second hand. Now the same thing, make sure I don't have anything or weapon on my hand. Bring it behind the back so you can put me into a cuffing position. The greatest Jiu Jitsu that my father created is so a smaller person can defend himself against somebody bigger, stronger, and faster. You're always going to encounter somebody bigger and stronger and faster than you. So you have to constantly be training. You got to constantly keep resharpening the tools and learning and going back to the gym and practicing. So I'll see you guys in the gym.